Okay, we are back. Let's see. We, we've got to finish that predator hunt. Let's go do that. Um, so we want to go out. Oops. Where's the door? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Uh, let's see. We are. I think we've got both of our. Yeah, we do. We got both of our coolers in this. In this truck. Here, let's throw them in here, because we'll be able to take some of the wolf coyote meat. Come on. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Where's my fence? Okay, this is getting really, 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 really annoying. What happened to my fence? I had placed in the last episode. Oh my goodness. Okay, well let's just go see if we can kill some wolves or coyotes or whatever they are. That's really frustrating. Is is that something let me know in the comments, is that something it is it is that supposed to do that where if you place and you don't build it before you save, it's gonna disappear? Or is it just for me? Because everybody, you all saw it. That I had placed in the end, the last episode, that was my primary focus, was placing that fencing. And now it's gone. We've got another... Oh good, there's two of them there. It's like, what do we do for saving? You know, if we're gonna do something, I want to make sure you know it's gonna stay for the next time we play. Oh, I thought it was laying on its back. There's another deer right there. What? <laughs> so if you got if you haven't got a chance to check out on my channel I'm doing some Way of the Hunter now too with the Call of the Wild so be sure to check that out uh, let me know which one you enjoy you like better um, graphics wise, gameplay wise um, right now I it's really it's a toss up I'm enjoying both of them um, the hunting aspect in Way of the Hunter is a lot better in my opinion the, the animal animal um, behavior is better uh, the animal the way when you shoot them they their reactions are better uh, the way they the blood trails and that stuff are all better the graphics I do enjoy the graphics on call of the wild hunter call of the wild more it just seems to be the the scenery seems to be more realistic Coyotes after the the deer. I thought it was coming this way. Here it comes the deer.
funny because I'm starting to get into the more into the hunting games now than any of them and I'm enjoying those playing those the most um, but in the real world I, I don't hunt I I don't I think I would it would kind of crush me if I <laughs> killed a, a deer um, it's just I have so many of them that are like pets that are around That bear, I don't know. Is he gonna? I'm gonna make sure he doesn't try to come get me, but I don't know if he can get me through the fence. I don't think I can jump this fence, can I? No. Yeah, that's why I didn't think he could get, get to me. It's something I, you know, go through spurts of different kinds of games that you're playing. Like it was, there was a while there was like the, uh, like zombie games and stuff like that were big. I'm still enjoying all the ones I'm doing. Like, I have fun playing. What's what's nice about doing such a variety? I can kind of break it up, and I don't get burnt out on one game as quickly. So I don't know how, um, how, I don't know how somebody can do a channel with just one game. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna start doing uh, Farming Simulator 22 again. I jump in the middle of in reinstalling it right now, actually. So I'm probably gonna start doing some episodes of that. I do enjoy that game too, but I could never do it just like that as my only game on the channel because it would just I I get so burnt out so quick on it I'm like okay because <laughs> there's these channels that do just just farming simulator and it's the one that uh, just s certain games couldn't do it. <laughs> I couldn't do it. Um, let's see, where do we want to go now? We want to get back up to the hunting cabin. Now what is... Oh, that's me. I gotta go way over there. Still got good gas. Good amount of gas. I do have a full cooler, so I can go drop that at the hamburger place before I go. <laughs> See, I, I started contemplating trying to just jump that fence there to get to the burger place quicker, but yeah, I, I thought twice about it and told myself, yeah, no, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I probably wouldn't make it. See, I can't even make it through a straight <laughs> paved road with a sun oh fire hydrant and not run into the fire hydrant. Should have pretty good money's worth of meat here. I've got a cooler full and plus one other. Hmm. Over a thousand dollars now. That's good. Okay, now I hope I didn't have to give him the um, the meat. I don't think I do. No, I knew that was coming. It never turns well. Is it just my version of the game that's screwing up saves? Or is anybody else having that problem? Let me know down in the comments. I'd like to know if I'm the one that's getting hosed on, on my saves. Just 
just one time, then I'll be like, well, maybe it was just a glitch. But now it's been two different times. It was the... I must have passed it. Yeah. It was the trees being cut down, and now my fence that I placed is gone. I'll be able to get a rifle. Sweet. Okay, added rifle to character. Now, do I have to have rifle ammo, or is it um the same bullets? That's six, okay. We'll we'll go play with it once. Let's go see what the rifle's like. It's like, do I go work on the fence again, or what? Or because it's like, um, it really it stinks that I've you know I already did the fence layout. It was the other day. It was fun. I went and uh, checked the camera over on the property, and then I went to the went and got something to eat to bring home. We watched some. I actually watched the Santa Claus with Tim Allen. I watch that series every year. We watched the second one tonight. Um, and let's see, we watched the Mandalorian. And we're into Smallville right now. So watching both of those. And see what else so we at Tuesday actually, um birthday was the other day on the seventeenth, but Tuesday I'm gonna go um take a break and go into into Hayward, that's the closest somewhat bigger town, which is about 45 minutes away, and I'm going to go and take a try at the casino, and then from the casino, I'm going to go to a movie, I'm going to go to that, um, there hasn't been, oh my god, I've been trying to find a movie to go to for the longest time, there just has not been anything that, like, grabbed my attention that made me like, yeah, I gotta see that, you know, kind of feeling. Just hasn't been anything out. So, we do, oh, we do have something I'm somewhat um, interested in seeing is the Hunger Games, the new Hunger Games movie. It's in the theater right now, so. And I go on Tuesdays because Tuesday here in my town here is a five dollar movie um, day. So you get the movies for five bucks. Plus, it's uh, uh, showings are a lot earlier during the week. It's like the only showing is at seven thirty. And I'm like, I'm not gonna be. <laughs> 45 minutes from home at 7 o'clock just to go to a movie, or 7.30 just to go to a movie and then to drive all the way home I don't do well driving in the dark anymore as I get older so Tuesday it is so it works out okay because then I don't I get the um get the $5 movie plus plus you get free popcorn too on, on Tuesdays which is nice So Tuesday's a good day to go. And then once I get um, through done with the movie, well, do the um, casino, hopefully I can win win some money. And last time I went, I took, I usually don't go much more than 20 bucks. Um, 
I did that last time. I twenty dollars, and then um, I came out with forty. So I did uh, did win a little bit. I won like um, no, it's not letting me pick up that that stack. It wasn't for some reason. Um, but yeah, I went in with twenty. First machine. I like. I love playing the like the triple sevens the slots like the quarter slots and stuff they're the ones I remember playing when I was you know just turned 18 stuff with my aunt and uncle and and cousins and stuff and my cousin so I'd play those and uh, when I went I played those and I uh first machine I put in uh two quarters it's a three quarter machine put two quarters in and I hit and won what was it 30 35 bucks on the first two quarters or something like that so I was like whoa so I cashed out and I cashed out and I um I don't know if I remember remembering the numbers right um after I cashed out I went and I put the 20 back in my pocket and I took the rest and I played again and I ended up to where I would have won probably 60 bucks total, but then I uh, put a lot of some of it back in and stuff. But I just I, I won a couple times, which was nice. So it was fun. Got to play for like half hour, 45 minutes, which usually doesn't last very long when you're only playing 20 bucks. Um, but after cashing out, playing for a while, I walked out with 220s, so I won my. 120 bucks. So that's what I'm hoping for next time too. <laughs> it just, you know, it doesn't have to be a like huge amounts or anything. I just I'm there to have fun, you know. I should probably put it this way because it's the way I have the other fence. Kind of backwards. It's supposed to be the other way. Gonna lock. Yeah, why is that not locking together? Am I using the right one, or am I trying to put up the, the gate? Yeah, see, it's not letting me lock it for some reason. Yeah, see, it, it was working on that side, but it's not working on this side for some reason. Are they still working on this game or what? It, I haven't been hearing of any, uh, like, updates or anything. Recently, ever since they went from the unstable to the more unstable branch. I haven't been hearing anything about them continuing work on the game or what now see it should lock in right there because on that other side it did that um let's go try it see if it locks now yeah see look it lock there. Maybe do I have to do... Do I have to flip it this way? I don't know, it's just weird. No, now, now it locks. That's weird. Why did it, why did the first couple not lock and then this one did? And is it even straight? Make sure it's straight so I can actually get my truck to go down that. And now we want to kind of This will be good enough for right now. Where's my boards? I had a stack of boards. 
I'm envisioning it for some reason. It's like... Uh, what I gotta do is just start building a barn or something, because... I'm trying to do fence and stuff like that, it's just not... Not working for some reason. I just can't... Can't get in the building mood.
Okay, let's go to some more boards. I'm not real sure what I'm going to do next. Um, let's see. Let's, I want to do a custom building. Should we just have it attached to the side of the house? <laughs> no. <laughs> not a good idea. I don't want to have cows mooing in my living room, you know. Maybe we'll put it right over here. And I wonder if maybe if we make sure we put something in in it, like some boards in it, if that'll make a difference. Here's the houses. Let's see. I'd want here's the foundations. We want it low, low to the ground. See now, it does not say what buttons or do what. My, as you, can you see the letters in that? I'm glad somebody told me that you know. Q and E do the higher, higher and lower. Let's see, uh, we want it kind of facing this way. How should we build this? We have big milking a stall like so I wanna want it to be pretty big so I can have stalls around. Uh, let's see planks. Could do um can do greenhouse walls also. Let's see, you want it to go. We'll do the front with a couple windows on each side. And we we want to have in the center here. Want a big the big door. Big double door like that. And now we will do a wall. Just a regular full size wall with no windows. I want to have these without windows because if it get whoop, for if it gets cold, I want them to be able to be in shelter. If they want to be outside, they can go outside instead of having windows. Probably should have had like an, an emergency exit at the back. Maybe like this corner. Uh, that side. We'll do a door there. Door. And we want the big door. Where's the big door? Should be at the end. Yep, big door. So we're going to have two of those. And Hmm, ramp. No, nope, we don't need the ramp. We're going to do a staircase. Let's see why is it not they get oh come on you yeah, see once you once you walk outside of it it shifts so you can't there placing it I wanted it placed there and then we can have a roof over like a floor so I'm gonna have a second story on this
Now, do we need pillars for this, or am I thinking of a different game? I see, you can't. It's gonna have to be there, 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 there. I guess we don't have to have pillars. That's good. And once I'm done getting this, then I'm definitely going to build with some of the wood. I, oh, let's, uh, what do we need for those foundations? Planks, okay. Let's go grab our truck with those wood planks on it. I think I have some more wood planks in the shed, too, I should. everybody uh, tuning in to the episode. Oh, my honey's probably ready too. At least it should be. Oh yeah, yeah it is. Um, we're, uh, my smoker. Smoker's on the cart. Yeah, if you watch the Way of the Hunter, the ATV on that is awesome compared to this thing. That's another situation where it's like I wish the one game had the features of the other game, you know. on the on the way the hunters much better than on call of the wild also I like having it in three different f hives, but then it's also you have to run farther <laughs> just to put them back. So maybe I will just put them all in the one hive for right now. And hopefully I'll start finding some more frames, some more bees. wonder if it's the re what the reasoning behind putting an asset into a game that doesn't look anything like what the asset's supposed to look like. You know, is it because they didn't have the money for an asset that looks correct? Or they just don't know what it looks like? I, I think if you're producing something, you would do some research and find out what something looks like. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the beehives, <laughs> what they look like in a tree. Um, if you don't know what a beehive looks like, 
um, in the wild. Uh, they're really cool looking. It's a, I have had one in one of the trees above one of my bee yards in the past. And you can just see the whole comb. And the thing is, is they built this thing like 50 feet up in a tree. So it's like, well, there's no way of getting to it. It died over the winter and got blown out, which is obvious when you put your hive 50 feet up into the top of a tree in an area of the country where it gets really cold and windy. <laughs> so if you put it up that high, you're definitely going to have problems with, um, you know, freeze out and dying, you know getting knocked down. That's like, you look up here, I'm like, oh no, it was pretty cool. I got some pictures of it, but I mean, these are pictures from like 1997, 98, 99, something like that. Uh, 90, probably 97. Oh, yeah, camera technology was not all that yet. <laughs> you know, it's like, you take the picture, and it's like, okay, yeah, it's like, crapshoot, you know, it's like, did I actually get it in the, in the picture, because, you, you know, film, so you, you take the picture, and you usually take, like, four or five at different angles, different, whatever you can pick, so you don't have a, nothing but five big blurs, you know, of what you want, even though, you know, technology-wise, the picture quality pretty much was a big blur. <laughs> in most pictures back in the day. Probably should have just brought the truck because, yeah, that's what's gonna happen. I just want to get these fences down, even though they're facing the wrong ways. Is that why that was not... That's why it didn't connect, because one's backwards and one's forward. I don't know why they placed it. I tried to, I thought it was turned the right way. Oh, um, that's my fault too. Okay, we're gonna go throw these into that building so once we end the episode it doesn't disappear before we get back to it the next time. Okay. down at least it'll um, hopefully keep it from just disappearing randomly. Okay, we were talking about what were we talking about? We we're talking about farming simulator twenty two. I think that was one of our tangents tangents for a little bit there. Um, I have uh, I have done it. I've had farming simulator twenty two on my channel for quite a while. I did quite a few episodes and stuff, but uh, it was never really like a huge success, but the thing is, is back then when I was doing the episodes, I probably had maybe a, a thousand subscribers, about maybe not. I think I might not even been to a thousand yet when I was doing it. Now I've got 3,140, 47 or 48, something like that. Thank you everybody for for those subscriptions. It's awesome. Uh, for those of you that were asking the other day about um, the memberships, I'm still thinking about it. I'm, I know I'm gonna do it. I just I want to get a good value for you. Now why isn't it letting me put it in? Oh, I've got to do the frame first. got a an order you have to do it in. I like that they are not making me do any metal or anything, which it really should because we have the the latches and the you know hinges and all that stuff. 
should have metal components to it. It's like, how many times have I built these things now? Because <laughs> of uh, losing um, saves and things like that. I think I've built three barns and none of them I've actually got to do anything with. I did the red barn, that one worked, but when it comes to just like my custom built barns that have not had any success for actually being able to use it for anything yet. This way I'm hoping, because I want to make this into a nice big like milking barn. I was talking to my mom about the farming would have been just let's say you know it would have been kind of cool if dad and her would have been you know would have had a farm for when I was growing up but I said not a cow farm because <laughs> uh yeah that that's a lifelong commitment and like seven days a week no vacations kind of commitment and I don't think I could have handled that part of it in the real world at least. That's no, not too bad so far. We're getting there. I'm just afraid to save because I don't know what's gonna happen to it. If I uh, do save it, is it still gonna be here tomorrow? <laughs> Maybe let's uh Actually, we'll go inside and save. Maybe it'll save us, save it better for standing up on top of here. You know, it's like I'm saved right on top of here. We need to. It needs to still be here when I play next. Okay. Well, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you are enjoying the series. Let me know in the comments if you are. Plus, um, throw the thumbs up. Throw the subscribe. If you haven't done that yet, I'd really appreciate it very much. Have a great rest of your night.